Okay, well, you're getting 50s. <laughs> I think 50s are cool. <laughs> Lovely Dallas Love Field. About to jump on a flight heading to Chicago Midway. And we're going to continue the path of chasing some rare animals. We're going to rescue two venomous snakes. So wish us luck. These are one owner cars, super short miles with some famous ownership history. Been chasing for a long time. I hope we get them. So grab your cup of joe and let's go. This will be worth watching. to my Jeep. H9, right there. What color did we get? Red. So who said that? Who's the famous singer that said that? Missy Elliott. Missy Elliott. Beep, beep. Ah. Who got the keys to the Jeep? There's my, there's my keys to the Jeep. Make Thank you, nice lady. Make sure you bring back as empty as you can. You got it. Have a great night. Right. Morning, team. You guys ready? Always. Do you have your coffee? Nope, not today. How many miles did you do? A thousand? A thousand. Wow, that is outstanding. For those of you that are following today, here's a hint on the venomous snakes that we're gonna go capture. One of them they only made 285 of. There's your hint of the day. I'm often asked if I get nervous or excited on these deals. The answer is yes and yes, absolutely. I've worked on this deal for months in one of these cars I tried everything and pulled every stop I possibly could in the world in 1992 and could not get one and still have not had one. So as the story progresses, you'll I'll explain why, because the production was so low and the dealers that got them, most of them kept them, which is the case here. So I'm crazy excited and can't wait to get the deal done. I'm confident it's gonna happen and get them in the trailer and get them back to Dallas. Looks like Alex beat us. Looks like we don't know how to use a GPS, and you do, Alex. No. <laughs> you guys left before me, and I got pulled over. I still made it here before you. <laughs> there you go. Well, you know who was in charge of the GPS? Zach. <laughs> it was very explicit his instructions on how to get here, and I didn't print it. Oh, there you go. How you go, Dennis? I'm Rob Kohler. It is an honor to meet you, sir. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, Greg, uh, guy who talked to, he'll be running through whatever you want to fill in. Hey, Dennis. Thanks for your time. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Well, yeah, let me get these open. The history, I mean, I, and I'm sure you know, uh, the names tied together with the creation of these cars, Bob Lutz, Carol Shelby, Tom Gale, I mean, mm -hmm. Bob Lutz at the time was the executive vice president of Chrysler at the time, and he went to Tom Gale, their head designer, and was like, I want a, you know, long nose short back i basically want a modern day shelby cobra right and with the daytona and cobra look put together yeah and yep. uh they're they're raw the first one i mean no abs no traction control yeah, they basically were hand-built cars at that time yeah hand-built detroit steel um, <laughs> well i'm actually excited about the history of these actual two cars being that they were robert kohler's cars yeah he 
Uh, I actually, my know, wife's, I, I know who he is. I've had some of his cars. Yeah, bought a lot of parts back then because you, you all used to keep a lot of NOS a parts. A lot on of the yes, show. and a lot of performance parts. I, I think at one time they were the uh, sold the most performance parts in the country came out of their dealership, and, I, and they sold them internationally. I bought a lot when I first got the email from Robert himself. I was like, this can't be that color. Yes. <laughs> no, I mean I was like really excited because I had some of the. The A43 Richard Petty cars, uh -huh. when they came through your dad's store. Oh, okay. So, and I had some of those for a long time, and I had wow. a lot of NOS parts, and they were all stamped Kohler. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, that all was my them. brother, David. So yeah. we we went. I mean, that was the go-to place back mm -hmm. in the day. They had it, and the other cool thing was is they didn't. Uh, they were one of the biggest stores that didn't price gouge. Yeah, we had but, actually one day I picked up the phone. This big daddy Don Gartlett, what do you got for me? <laughs> Yeah, I, I've, yeah, I've yeah. actually had the honor to meet him several yeah, yeah. times. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yep. Very, Very cool. But, but back to this car. This car is, is it car 153? Uh, I yeah, think. I believe so. I believe yeah. so. Mm -hmm. I've got the yeah, here you get. MCO and the window stickers. Uh, 533 miles on this one. One car 156. Wow. That's for you. Outstanding. And then uh, he started in the car business when he was in eighth grade. So that's the everything. The dealer jacket got copy of the MCO in there and everything, and the dealer jacket. Unfortunately, this one came from uh, White Bear Dodge or somewhere up in Minnesota. We had two of them come in at the dealership, but he hemmed and hawed. Do you want this one, Dad, or not? Otherwise, we're going to sell it. And we, sold, we sold the other two. But he so, actually he, ordered this car and kept yes, this car. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this car's a little bit past midway in production, so they'd worked out a lot of the little quirky stuff the early car, really early ones at. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, because there's, what, 285 of these cars, I believe? Yes, 285. Uh, no door handles, no windows, no AC. I believe it wasn't until 94 when they started putting air conditioning in the Vipers. Crazy crude top. And yes, <laughs> yes. So but he kept, he kept everything. Like I said, I mean, even the cover to the threaded antenna, Still I mean, he, he kept. Wow. Well, that's awesome. Because, I mean, he knew it was going to be a super collectible car. Look at this. These are these two actual cars at Kohler Dodge with Robert Kohler. And then the white one being the GTSR, <laughs> which he that's was awesome. so close to buying. Oh, he didn't. He didn't end up with that one. No, we wish he would have. But it's for the I guess two, two's enough. I mean, you could hope for one, but to have two is something. Well, the coupe's actually pretty rare too. There's only oh, about eleven it. or twelve hundred of those cars. Right? Yeah, I love the GTS. Uh, I think it's pretty close to the mileage that's on it. There were like either thirteen hundred or sixteen hundred built. That one has uh, sixteen hundred and twenty-nine miles on it. And what's different from that one? Then the first year RT is they actually finally now have door handles on the outside. They've got windows and of course, you know, the hard top, but uh, just really neat stuff tied in with these cars. I mean, Chrysler was involved or had owned Lamborghini at the time. So they paired up with Lamborghini and Lamborghini helped them turn their uh, iron block V10 into an aluminum block for the lighter chassis viper right and it was actually two liters bigger than the diablo six liter motor so you've got i think the first years were 400 horse 465 torque and then the 96 i want to say is 450 horse 488 torque yeah, so Alex, just that is crazy. actually this this is obviously his first gen car yeah. yeah that is a second gen car yeah so uh and they call them i like I don't know if this is the SR1 engine and then they consider that the SR2. Yes, that's correct. Yeah. yeah. But even yeah, that is correct. I, I was I was actually going by you they have generation and series. Yeah. It's a little bit tricky. I'm not claiming to be a biker expert. But no, <laughs> no, but but you know, you know what to look for. I I mean, you find some interesting stuff, you know, on the firewalls, you know, of the Jeeps and stuff that are, I mean. Yeah, chalk marks and interesting things absolutely. like that. Absolutely. There'll be some really neat stuff on this car. We'll we'll dive into this one pretty deep. This car is going to be a interesting service. Yeah. I don't think that one's going to be an issue. This one will be, I'm not going to say a handful, but it's going to take some I time. Said a, it'll, it'll take some time. I said a hand wash and a vacuum, and obviously service. I don't think they've, I don't think they've ever been buffed 
uh, the grandpa, he may have waxed them. I was just literally going to be my next question. But I don't think they have ever been buffed. We're getting now in the collector car world, if you will. We do a lot of Porsches. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the play. really big collectors are actually getting down to paint mill thickness. Right. And they they want original paint, but they get upset because somebody cut the car too hard. Right. It's like, well, it doesn't have enough orange peel in it. Like these two cars in this condition, I wouldn't buff a ceramic coat. Right. I would not touch them. I, that's why I wanted to mention that because, like I said, they've never been buffed as far as I know. I that's mean, just and just fantastic. looking at it, there's. I mean, you can tell almost. <laughs> yeah, I would. But, uh, we're definitely not going to buff them. <laughs> they have keys. Yes. Uh, okay, that's a plus. <laughs> we, put, we put one set uh, in the ignition so to okay. free up, you know, unlock the steering columns, and then there's the uh, the spare sets are on the passenger side of each car. Um, if needed, I mean, there's that three-step process of opening the hood on the GTS, which is kind of unique. Um, do you know that process, Alex? If you don't, Greg's going to teach you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had to look it up myself. Okay, I mean, all right. <laughs> I've never. I've that never one you push that. down. This one you pull up. That one you push down. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Here, just so I can get two people in there, get in there, Greg. Grab from the center. Yep, he knows. There you go. Yeah. Wow. The first time we looked them up last night, and it's like, hope to God there weren't mouse <laughs> there, but there wasn't. What do you think about that, Alex? That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm really excited about these cars is we call them the peanut gallery out there. I know y'all aren't gonna like that, but there's always haters out there. Right. So you've got these two cars that were Robert Kohler's actual cars yeah. that have never been buffed, short miles, these are bulletproof. Yeah. With and you got to save all the perfect paperwork. Unbelievable. I knew they had the right details and they were just what you would call crisp. They are crisp. And this is what I like. Um, just and the miles are amazing. Well, I want to thank everybody here for being incredible I'm really caretakers. Excited of these. To hear, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and do some paperwork. Um, we're definitely not going to argue about price. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All three of you are Viper fans, right? Yes. And your favorite color is obviously yellow. Well, they're all my shirts, actually. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I couldn't find mine. So, uh -oh. I, I just let them pick which ones they like better. Very know? cool. So which one of these cars is your favorite? Oh, I either this one or the white one. There was originally like a white one, but right. the stripes were blue. How about you? Uh, Probably the red and the white one. How about you? Uh, Mine would probably be the red and the blue. Awesome. So they don't have a favorite. <laughs> no problem. All right, I mean, cool. there's no white one, so it's red. <laughs> well, you know what? Next, are you guys going to help us push these cars? Yeah, yeah. I'll drive. Well, I'll help you. You'll drive? <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. I'm... We'll let you drive and y'all help push. Yeah. All right, let me get the miles off of it and then we're going to load them. Look at that, Alex. You got a whole team. Yeah. <laughs> What's your plan? Keys are in them. Yeah. I think we get the blue one out first, and then Dennis and I take a picture together, and after that, then yeah. we can load them. There you go. Deal. They put the paperwork up, and we'll start the load. Mr. Collins, yes, can I take one more picture with you? Of course. <laughs> Where do you want me? Uh, just right here again. Do you want to wait until okay. we push it outside? We'll push the blue um, one out. Or well, whatever I was going to have both of them. You got it. You can yeah, take as many them. pictures as you cute. want. Thank you. Of course. Because we were looking at different cameras, you know? Now we got to... Just, just look at this camera. <laughs> you got it. Thank you, <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Collins. You are welcome. Thank you for being here. But we're not done yet, so don't leave. I won't. <laughs> I'm going to put you guys to work. So, wow. Incredibly nice family. The cars are literally perfect. Better than anticipated. The best paperwork you could possibly get. The best ownership history you could possibly get. The kids are excited about it. So let's go put these kids to work. I'm going to pay them. I have a son and two daughters, and they learned to drive stick shift on the Viper. I have a, the, I have a picture just of that, Alex. Okay. <laughs> well, sir, we have Zach over here on the camera. Hey, Zach, how you doing? He right. wants to learn how to drive a stick on one of these cars. Yeah, I know. That's okay. <laughs> that's what I he wants Alex to teach him. You ready, Riley? You sure? Okay. You got the brake off? We're going to go slow. Push it down. Good man. Look at that. He knows how to work the emergency brake. How old are you, Riley? 
hand. Okay, so when I tell you left hand down, that means you're going to turn the wheel down, okay, with your left hand. And when I say right hand down, that means you're going to turn the wheel down with your right hand, okay? Does that make sense? Okay, so we're going to go left hand down a little bit. Okay, a little bit more. All right, a little bit more. Left hand down. Left hand hard. Left, more left. Left, 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 right. Hard harder, harder, harder. Harder. All right, you're doing good, buddy. Okay, now what I want you to do is right hand down, hard. Right hand down, hard. So turn to your right. Hard, hard, hard. Lock, okay, turn the... Hang on, buddy. You are doing good. Okay, that was not your fault. So I'm gonna help you go right, okay? So right hand down. So right hand down, remember, if somebody's ever, you ever backing something up, that's the easiest way to teach. So let's keep going right hand down. Keep on up. Crank it all the way. Keep going. Okay. Now we're going to go forward. And, I'm going to, and I want you to go left hand down, okay? Now turn to the left, Riley. Keep going left. Left hand down. Turn left hard. Harder. Harder. More, 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 more. Okay, we should be able to do it. Good. Okay. Now you're back to right hand down. Right hand down. Hard, and, and we'll hard. Go, and we'll go slow. Yeah, do hard. Harder. There's a lot for the muscle. Yeah. <laughs> Left hand down hard, buddy. Hard and fast. Okay, keep going left hand. Go. Hard, hard, hard. Good job. Right. Good. Okay, straighten it out. We're going forward. Uh, now you know what you're doing, right? You steer right those ramps. And we'll, and we'll go slow. Can you see the ramps? Okay, so I'll just you just listen to me then. Okay, right hand down. Right hand down. Good man. Now left. Okay, keep it straight. Right hand down. Straight. Okay, keep it straight. Okay, let's, let's check it real quick. How many people can say Dennis Collins taught him how to drive? <laughs> All right, buddy, you ready to go inside the trailer? Okay, I just want you to keep it straight, okay? All right, here we go. Don't move the wheel. Right hand down the right there. Okay, over there, Alex. Yeah. Right, that was good driving. Both, mirror, both mirrors folded. Outstanding. <laughs> okay, we're gonna pull you. We're gonna just pull you out. I would agree. That's a good idea. Uh, come here. Because you could yank you out the window. Okay. How old are you, Riley? I'm uh, ten. Ten. That's yeah. pretty good driving. Okay. You drove a, 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 You're you're driving an RT10. You're ten. That's pretty impressive. Tell you what we'll do is we'll unlock this steering wheel. Yeah. Is that a good idea? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, whoever's trying to get in and turn the key. She's turned, it's unlocked. Okay, very good. We're ahead of that right here. Here. That's funny, yeah. You already got the top, Alex? Yeah, the top, the top's right there. Oh. Right here. Well, don't want to forget it. that. Yeah, no. And it's, it's loose. No, it's you got to turn, right turn the key right. forward. There you go. I was uh, ready to say yes during sort of a whole life. Really? Okay, okay, right hand down, which means turn right. Okay. Left hand down, which means turn left. Okay. Stay right there for a second. Okay, right hand down. Not too much, going over. Okay, left hand. Okay, stay there. You're okay. Now we're gonna go right hand down and back straight out. A little bit more. Hard, but hard. Not hard actually. Hard right. Hard. Okay, you're good. Now go hard left. Hard left. Real hard. Hard coming. Okay, that's good. Good job. It's heavy. Yeah. Either that or Alex didn't push it. Now you can say that. He wants to see the car. Just go right. <laughs> Don't end up in the ditch, Emmy. 
Well, it's not uncommon for a viper to be in the, off the track of a track there. <laughs> okay, Left hand hard. Keep going. Yeah, you. Now you can come back left. We'll come back left. Hard, hard, hard. Back it up one more time. Okay, now if you will just turn the steering wheel straight. You're yeah, good. we'll go back You're one more good. time. Then we go back, go with the left hand down. There you go. Lined up with those rims. Okay, we'll just go slow this time. You got it. <laughs> Keep on going left. Okay, now we're gonna now we're gonna stop right here. Go, go. There you go. Straighten the wheel. Keep going to the. Point. You guys okay? Okay. We'll leave it there for a second until Alex decides where he wants. I'm not going to let them help you guys out. I hope so. Anybody mind? Great. You too, sir. Thanks for the help. All right, guys. You want a, you want 50s or you want a 100? You want a 100? Okay. <laughs> This is for helping, for working, for being here today. Oh, you know, oh 50s, you want 100. Well, 100? <laughs> wow, wow, my goodness. How about you, sir? I don't need 100? Thank you. Okay, well, you're getting 50s. Because <laughs> I think 50s are cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah? Okay. No. You want to exchange them? Sure. sure. Two for one. Thank you. Deal, you got it. So I want to thank you guys for raising such great kids. Thank you. Y'all said thank Mr. You. Collins, which to me means a lot. Well, you guys got a great family. Thank you. Appreciate thank the caretaking you. of the cars and uh, they're going to good home. Sounds and good. We'll make you guys proud. Thank Alrighty. you. All right, guys, we got one last question. I know we're not actually in Chicago. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> but we want to have a Chicago hot dog before we leave. Oh, Portillo. Okay, Portillo's. Portillo's. It's right right across the street it's there. Yeah, if you guys want to meet us here, I'm buying. But we're, that's where we'll go. Portillo's okay, hot dogs. <laughs> All right, you got them. <laughs> so, Alex, but I'm buying got them. <laughs> you got it. Okay. Hot dogs are cheap. Okay, you got it. <laughs> Hurry up, then you can leave. There you heard it, Alex. Wait. Chicago dog, you ready? Sure. You know, contest? No. <laughs> oh, come on. But Alex even fixed the license plate. Yeah, Is it? Please tell me that's off the Wonder Bread from the barbecue place. Is it? No, I just took part of the trailer brake wiring. And... Oh, I don't want to hear that. <laughs> okay, so we're going to Portello's. Okay. We said it's straight up here, so let's look it up on the Google whatever and go there in Chicago Docks. Sweet. So per y'all's recommendation, this is the hot dog place, huh? Yep, Portello's. Hopefully it's open. Yeah, we're close. I don't know if it may be 11. Yeah, we've been waiting a minutes. Cool. So question, Alex. <laughs> what are the three Ps? So you got Pierce Arrow, Peerless, and, oh God, what's the third one? Packer. Packer, there you go. Proud that you got two. Outstanding. <laughs> so when you, I don't know, whenever I come to the Chicago area, I always crave a Chicago style hot dog. We're at Portillo's, recommended by the Polars. Got a standard one with everything on it. Look at that. I literally bit off more than I can chew. <laughs> you ever do that? Yeah. Tastes great. Wow. Now, <laughs> see how much of this I can get all over my jacket. A messy chili cheese dog. Look at that. Outstanding. Wow, that's so good. After a hard day's work of rescuing me two venomous snakes, the sound of this beautiful family has hot dogs. If you're ever in town, hit Portillo's up, it's great. Well, I conquered that craving. Oh, yeah, that was good. <laughs> really good. Love it. Maybe we should open a hot dog place in Dallas. What do you think? I think we should. There's not any. Alex's dogs. Colin's dogs. Colin's dogs. So, what do you guys think about that? Send us a name for that. We'll see you at the airport. And we're back. Less than 24 hours Chicago and back from rescuing two of the most famous Vipers in the world. Number one condition, beautiful cars. 1992 and a 1996 
first generation and second generation vipers from Mr. Robert Kohler himself. I am elated, got to pinch myself. What a great day it is to be alive. I hope you guys enjoyed the trip. Please like, tag, share, and follow. See you next time.